All right, guys. Hope everyone's well. And welcome back to the last show day vlog of the season. Obviously, there'll be some to come, hopefully in the following years. Uh, but for this year, last show of the season, which I'm excited to, uh, yeah, just I'm excited. I enjoy the weekends, eh? So I'm excited to go down and just have a have a good time. Simple as that. The work's done for the most part, so no need to stress or that. Similar to last time, I've prepared all my food, so everything's pretty much sorted. Got the cooler box in the back. Uh, so this one's in Leicester, so we're travelling down the now. I think we've got like four and a half hours to go, that sort of thing. We've been driving for half an hour, that sort of thing. Uh, so yeah, I'm looking forward to it. I'll be sure to document it, try and educate you the best I can along the way. But I hope you enjoy. Any questions or any content you'd like to see, leave it below and feel free to like and subscribe. So we've arrived at the Airbnb and it's uh, quite nice actually, definitely compared to the last one. Uh, so it's not massive but it's definitely big enough. So kitchen's here, got the basics you need. Food's out, all prepared for the weekend. Uh, I'll show you our room. Nice enough. Bathroom. And then living room. Meal free going in just before my tan, which is ground rice, uh, whey isolate, blueberries and dark chocolate. And uh, like I've said before, my food choices aren't changing because you don't want to have food that you've not been used to eating uh, before like a show because what if it causes like unnecessary or what if it like causes digestive issues you don't know it's unpredictable if that makes sense so it's just good to stick to the foods that digest well so as you can probably see first coat of tan is on and I uh, also went to see AJ and they uh, had done some sort of in-person checking with him. He gave me some posing feedback, which was really nice of him. And uh, as well as that, uh, he gave me a hoodie, which is really nice, and I'll show you when I get back, uh, which was a nice surprise. And uh, currently getting my fourth meal in, and uh, yeah, just stopped off at Tesco, getting some supplies, but yeah, I'm kind of feeling good now. Everything's out the way, nothing to stress about, and I can just enjoy my night. It's still only, 20 past 5 so we'll probably look to put a movie on or something and chill out and then get a relatively early night because it'll be up at half 5. Right so that's a hoodie I was on about. British finals 2022 team which was really nice of AJ so that was a nice surprise so uh, yeah don't be wearing that tomorrow obviously support the team but uh, like I said everything's pretty much done so it's a case of just sitting down and chilling out and just doing the do tomorrow and uh, trying to get an early night as well because I'll be up at half five just to get my meals in because I'm on stage at around 11 o'clock something like that maybe a bit later so we want to get enough meals in before jumping on stage and we don't want to let's say eat a ton of food right before jumping on stage because then I can be bloated not digest the food very well and uh, it takes time to digest food we don't instantly digest food as soon as we consume it so that'll give me a bit of time to digest it meaning I can actually utilise it and have a good pump on stage. Hi guys, so it's the morning of the show and just had my first meal. So weight is actually up one pound this morning. Uh, when I woke up, I was a bit like, why is my weight changed? A wee bit of stress sort of thing because it did actually read like quite a few pounds over. But you've got to consider I've got up and weighed myself one hour and one and a half hours earlier, which is means I've ate one and a half hours closer to my weigh-in time, if that makes sense, from last night's last meal. Uh, I'm weighing in on a different surface. Uh, I had more fluids closer to bed last night due to going to bed earlier, so all those things are going to be impacting your scale weight, so that's something to take into consideration and uh, bear in mind. Uh, but yeah, just had my first meal, which was 100 grams of raw white rice and 50 grams of 5% mints. And protein is just getting decreased today, obviously just before the show. Uh, and the reason being is we don't want to slow down digestion too much. We want to be able to keep the midsection nice and tight so no vegetables are in the diet or uh, yeah, less protein intake. Uh, but yeah, just just kind of trying to chill out now. So had my first meal, like I said, 
and I'm just trying to replicate my normal routines just to keep stress nice and low and just do what I usually do in the day. You what? So we're now back in the Airbnb and uh, sorry I didn't really document much of during the show. I, again, I'm just kind of focused on actually the show itself and we were quite busy. Like get the time between getting your tan done, uh, registration, getting the meals in and getting pumped up before stepping on stage. You've not really, all, especially this show, I didn't really have much spare time hence why I didn't document too much but basically uh, sadly I did not place uh, and granted it's the British finals it's my first season the people in my class who placed above me were 23 years old not making excuses but it's like I've I've got time on my side you know what I mean like two years from now I'll be stepping back on stage in that same division uh, so me with two years more muscle growth under my belt I think is going to be pretty dangerous and can potentially crack that top three at least I think I'm confident I can win that win that uh, show to be honest win that class and that's the goal uh, so yeah that's basically my season wrapped up which is crazy to think so got a participation medal which was nice my look was good and throughout the season I've ticked every box to the best of my ability I've nailed everything as best as possible I'd be lying if I said I wasn't a bit gutted and disappointed but I think you're always going to be like that and if you're not then you're not really got that competitive drive needed if that makes sense uh, so yeah happy with my level of execution my level of dedication and how I looked obviously but not happy with the placing but it's about controlling what you can and bettering yourself and it's my first time even doing that so like it's not that again not to have like a mindset of it's it's about taking part but I've dieted down to that level of condition for the first time I've done that cardio every single day I've done the low food for X amount of weeks didn't miss a beat and that's what I should be focusing on to an extent but saying that you're obviously not going to be oh yeah if you if you've got that mindset of wanting to be better then it's kind of a good thing but also you should kind of acknowledge you've done well and AJ is happy so I'm happy and my family's proud of me which means a lot as well so time for a meal out soon uh, get this tan washed off or try and get some of it washed off and I'll show you what we're getting for dinner but we're going to a steakhouse and I've already looked at the menu I'm not going to lie uh, I am 
looking forward to it to say the least but after I stepped off stage I basically had some whey protein some berries uh, because I know I'm going out tonight so I kept it pretty sensible and now I know I can eat the food I don't really want to which is very weird but yeah I'm still looking forward to it but I'm not like desperate to eat as like I was potentially like in the past because I know I can have it so you don't quite want it the same if that makes sense and I'm hungry to improve for two years I've got a bit of a fire lit in my belly I've got a bit of a sour tooth about how I've done so that's also playing a part I believe but yeah thank you very much for watching this far hope you enjoy the rest of the video and hope everyone has a great day so I uh, have a hilltop and also a couple of cookies to finish the night off.